Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's been a long week of Elden Ring. I have not played Super Auto Pets in a little bit. I've been getting uh, torn up on mobile uh, when I play a couple of games before bed every night. We'll see. You know, I'm 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 just I'm being kind to myself. I'll be the uh, the fishy fossils. Uh, for those of you who do not watch the stream, we knew as of last uh, Sunday. Today is a, a Saturday, by the way. Um, we knew as of last Sunday that our daughter was going to come down with, uh, you know, a cold. That has precluded us from doing any recording throughout the week because she hasn't been at daycare. She needs a little bit more supervision, yada, yada, yada. Um, so I'm a little out of practice. Now, it's like the juice was worth the squeeze. Don't get me wrong. W what else are you going to do? I'm just asking you to have mercy. The the bravado has fallen by the wayside a little bit. It's been replaced by a little bit of reticence. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Right now, I have to say, for some... Oh, you know what? You got hit by two mosquitoes, didn't you? That's why you didn't have four HP. That's still... I. And you know what? I'll take it a step further here. I'll sell you. I'll still dromedary. I think I'll sell a fish too. And as, as strange as it might seem... I'll go double swan. I'll go double swan. And you know what? Let, let's... I I know that the rule is you never take take swan. That's almost my rule for, like... It, let me put it this way. Rules are made to be broken. I think. So even though... Uh, this one's not going to work out too well. Even though the rule is never take swan, there's a lot of animals that I quote-unquote never take, but I might take if two of them existed on the same shop. Let me tell you that much. I'm going to level you, actually. I know it's a little bit... Um, why don't you take one of these, too? I know it's a little bit atypical. It's a little bit outside of the... Uh, probably not. Uh, a little bit outside of, the, you know, the normal strategy set for the way that you would play the game. It's not an orthodox uh, way to approach things, but uh, I thought we had a chance as a result. I was incorrect. This usually ha but at every ladybug bluebird start, there exists a pivot where the run starts to actually get good copium. Uh, and that should be right about here. It's when we can like move you to the front uh, and and not invest as much in scaling units. I do think like I don't honestly, I don't think a worm is I never take a worm either. But given the chance for food to have like a double impact right now, that actually seemed, it, it seemed like a speculative buy that could be advantageous. So you know what? I'll, if I, I should have saved an apple, probably. If I'm being honest, I mean, I would prefer not to lose this one, but I don't really care. We're going to lose this one. Um, but I think we can actually, I'm not saying we're getting to 10. I think that's a little ridiculous. But I think we could start our, our journey to success now. As much as it might seem like it's too late, I think we can start our journey to success. For now, why don't you take garlic? You take a hatching chick. Because we got to be careful. We don't want the hatching chick on the worm because we want the worm to take... You, you choose... You pick your battles. Let's put it that way. You get another buff out of this. As bad as this looks temporarily, I think our team will scale well from this point forward. Now, we are at zero wins, five rounds in. Moreover, I think we're actually at uh, five losses, <laughs> which is substantially worse than just five non-wins. But uh, it's okay. We definitely like this. We definitely also like this. Please hit the worm. We've gotten a little lucky with that. And you know what? I think we can just invest here. Uh, the bird has to go. And one of the best ways to get rid of it might actually just be to throw in a second hatching chick for now. I mean, we have a very, very thin margin of error. It doesn't really matter how good our team is if we just... I mean, even if we're a 9.5, if we face one 10 out of 10, we die. So that's pretty suboptimal. We're going to add a skunk to the squad. Such good salad luck, man. Such good salad luck. I don't even know what to say. It's the luckiest salad that's ever existed. Um, let's add a skunk to the team. Roll once. You know what? Keep that worm scaling. Again, 
it's very ambitious and optimistic to think we get to 10 when you think about the times uh, the types of teams we're going to end up going up against but it's pretty good it's pretty good principal issues right now uh the hatching chick is only giving five five so it falls off at some point it's hard to pick that pivot point it's definitely not for any of those it could be for you with a four a two a four and a one well, let's start here. I think I think we will sell you. And then I think we'll buy this. It didn't hit the worm, which is frustrating, but that's okay. And then I think we just want to have worm behind skunk. In that case, why don't we give our skunk like some melon killing power? That way the worm takes the other buff and, and we'll keep moving you here. We, If we live long enough to make it happen, we want our skunk to have a... Uh, to have a stake on it probably if it's going to remain just as a skunk and not like as a 50 50 it doesn't matter what its effect is type of unit which i think is is true um we gotta try a salad i think it still buffs our our ladybug so i respect that we definitely do not need to buff uh like to to hit the ladybug with this we could hit i mean it's tough it's either the skunk or the or the worm or the, or the poodle, but I actually think the impact on the skunk is way more important. I think the skunk is like an S-tier upgrade priority. Like, it does best with chocolate. I th For right now, I feel like we're, we're doing okay. Everything's right as rain. Even the honey badgers are falling by the wayside. What a comeback story. Five straight wins after five straight losses. Roll me. A steak is what we wanted, even though losing the chili pepper sucks, but the steak is, I think, more useful. You absolutely need this. It does leave the worm out to dry a bit. Um, I think we're going to freeze our melon armor and, and just give you a pair for now. I don't know. It starts to get a little, a little touch and go in here. I think we will win this one, though. I'm starting to feel like... I was a little down on myself in those early rounds, but then we, we got to the turn and all of a sudden we're, we're looking like things are great up to the river. I'm trying to build you a, a Texas Hold'em metaphor, I suppose, which doesn't really make any sense. Now, we didn't hit our worm like at all there, but I embrace that. I say thank you for the opportunity to have hit the worm. Thank you for the stats we get regardless. It's a very scary team. It's not that scary. I apologize. I apologize for making you think that that was scary. We're at seven now, and I'm feeling okay. Feed me. The worm really doesn't need any more uh, chocolate at this point. Really, I think that getting the skunk to level three, I'm not going to say it's going to save your run, but it might give you the best chance, right? Let's, uh, let's freeze this for a second. I'm not worried about the worm. Okay, in this case, I will give the ladybug some melon armor as well. It's so touch and go. Like, our stats are, are not... They're not uninspiring, but they're not that inspiring. Let's put it that way. Case in point. Case in point. We were a few HP away from making that get there. But honestly, the fact that we came back on that one is, is inspirational in and of itself. Now, speaking of, this is an incredible start. Let's be the clean chipmunks. It's got alliteration. Uh, I... This team loses round one usually, if I had to guess. I'm not sweating that. One HP. Who cares? Nobody. Nobody cares. Freeze a fish for stats. Buy a fish for stats. Feed one ladybug and then watch the cascade, okay? Now, this team should not lose round two unless something's broken. There's a little hubris involved in saying that, but I stand by it. It didn't lose. It tied. And this is where it really starts to take off, probably. I still think we take our level. I could understand the argument for not. You know what? Buy me? Let's get, let's get a little crazy. Let's buy a scampi. Let's feed our ladybug an apple. We got a few different strategies at work here. I don't know, man. Just let me think about it for a second, okay? I feel like if we sell our mosquito and our fish... 
and keep everything else, we could start... Like, look at how much a hedgehog would have freaking screwed you here. I mean, we won anyway, but look at how much a hedgehog would have screwed you, man. Okay, watch this. Sell me. Sell me. Definitely buy me. We have a problem because we want to buy things, but we also want to... Like, we want to buy animals, but we also want to buy food. Let's buy some food. Keep the shop going. You get buffed. Honestly, I could fit a dromedary here. So let's get a quick little buy. A quick little sell. And then a quick little dromedary that, that really is just existing. And I'm not at all upset that we got uh, so much HP on our dog, especially if we're going to roll a hedgehog. You know what this means. It means we got space for another hedgehog. Okay, so far so good. And we're not really committed to any units, but at the same time, much of the time, we wouldn't really be committed to any of our early units anyway. This is, I'm going to freeze you because you're a great buy-sell for later. Um, you're just a, a decent buy-sell to begin with. Keep in mind, we're getting an extra sell trigger on our shrimp every time, which I think is making this not so bad, but maybe not great. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All I'm going to say is that like our, our dog is looking like kind of decent right now. Wouldn't you say? 611, round 5? It seems okay. You can never rely on getting like more than one, unfortunately. All right, but well, it's honestly just a strong team. They clearly lost their last round, bought a bunch of snails. Bit of a scumbag technique. Some people might... I'm just joking. I'm joking. Obviously, this is a buy-sell. Add the dog back into the squad. It's a strong team, man. Like, this is... Genuinely, this is good. I think. <laughs> the, the hedgehog's getting strong, at least. Uh, you know what? I think... I think that's a huge freeze. Let's accept we may lose this one, but uh, this might be where our scampy says it's time to go. I think this team will scale beautifully for the record. And my, you might say, NL, are you a little upset that you ran into two uh, snail using teams in a row? Yes, I suppose. I suppose some people might be upset by that, myself included, right now as we speak, hypothetically. Sell me, hit the dog, please. Very nice. Definitely we want this. I think it's now time for this Scampy to go. We can definitely add this. This team should not be going out yet. You're gonna live? You're gonna die? I don't care. You're gonna live through the next one. This The stats on our team and our AoE hurting power are, are strong. It's still strong. Copium? Copium. Okay, no, 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 it worked. It worked. And there was never a doubt in my mind that it would. Um, that's a nice level. Honestly, this seems like a great time to invest in some broad scaling. Uh, let's combine you. Add you to the squad. Feed you. Feed you. That's very good. We're, we're definitely... <laughs> Why, why are you at the front? You shouldn't be at the front. I don't know what I was thinking with that, but we're, we're definitely at a point where um, you start to wonder, like, where the heck is our scaling going to come from? But I think it's... I don't think it's bad right now. Like, our dog has good stats. 1423. The caterpillar will inherit them if we live long enough for it to happen. The ladybug, like, has to stick right now. Because it gets a buff from the food that we're buying for our seal as well. I mean, you could also just try that. But that we, here's the thing. T-Rex genuinely might be the right play. But I find it annoying. Thank you. Uh, to have to keep the gold around. I as, as much as it might seem nonsensical, I would just rather not use the T-Rex. I would rather do it this way and see how it does. Although I'm looking at the stats on my units and I'm like, mm, are you sure about that? <laughs> now, luckily this team, you know, is I'm just gonna say it. They, they it was maybe built uh, too late, maybe is a way to, they, they pivoted into a mid game build as the late game started, but it happens. Hold on, this is a nice buy sell. If we, this is really like the most important round. Like, if we last through this round, 
the uh, the caterpillar turns into a butterfly, unless it gets shot, it's going to be a, a 23, 31. So yeah, lucky guess. But um, so th we're we're really getting like an enormous power injection after this, and it, I think we're going to live. Like this team also looks a little bit. I mean, this looks like a team that would have gotten 10 wins two months ago, but the meta has has gotten kind of ruthless lately. Okay, so our Caterpillar's popping. What we need more than anything else is... Uh, scaling's always good. Three, five, one, three. As long as it hit the dog instead of the Caterpillar. Um, but... We also wouldn't mind... A, a turtle would be huge. A skunk is always... I think a skunk is probably worth it, honestly. And then we can focus on still giving some food, if possible, to our seal. Because if we're not going to give food to our seal, it really doesn't have to exist. That's tough. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I see us feeding our seal anymore. I know how this looks. I think this setup is still okay, too. Uh, but I, I think this is the right way to play it. I don't think we're going to worry about leveling the dog. I think the, the best line for us is to go skunk again. And I don't know what's going to happen with our, uh, with our win counts, but that looks so far so good. <laughs> I know I go skunk like every time, but this time could be different. Give me a turtle. I would sell a leopard for a turtle in a heartbeat. Put your money where your mouth is. I've never been happier to put my money where my mouth is. Now, I'll also tell you something. You're probably asking, what the ladybug doing? And it's a great question. It's basically just vibing. It's it's an albatross contract that's just along for the, the ride at this point. And that's okay, I think. Certainly a lot of melon armor. But you know what? It only goes so far. It only goes so far. Not worried about the dog. You need this, though. Obviously, a turtle could use this. We could make something... Wait, what's worth more? Level 3 skunk? I would probably say that the most important thing right now... The most financially efficient thing would be a level 2 turtle and then move the ladybug up. Look, nice little skunk uh, melon... or I mean, skunk uh, steak combo there. We got to 9 wins. Hold on. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, hold on. Now you got to go here. Why don't you take one of these? Well, realistically, what do we want? Pizza. No pizza. Uh, we don't need to give you melon armor, probably. Maybe there's a situation where, like, they have a big hedgehog or a blowfish or something. No, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter because you're getting the melon armor later. You just take a salad. You get the best buff you can get. This is a big potential win here because it would mean that the rumors of the dog's death in the meta are greatly exaggerated. Look at that. We actually had a very comfortable 10-win dog game. It's happened. I will, I'll run this back any day of the week. I'll run that back any day of the week. Let's be a, a submissive mushroom. I've probably used that name like 70 times. Don't read into it too much. I've just played a lot of the game. Could we have asked for better mosquito luck? <laughs> and still lost. <laughs> I'm Chandler. Could I have asked for better mosquito luck? This is a great spot to be in, for sure. Fundamentally very similar to our last uh, run, without a doubt. Four fish? I think we win this. I'm seeing a lot of two fours versus a lot of two threes. Looks good for me. Okay, I do think I would add a peacock to the team. Then we probably want to level anyway. Sure. Um, so obviously this is like a full hurt meta.
I'm going to take you and freeze you. That's That was a tough situation there. They, I do not like this team right now, but I think it's one of those weird situations where I was like, I don't like the team, but I do feel like I took the best animals available. I like that. Okay. So they, despite not having been buffed at all, they did what they had to do, which was nice. This would be a good round to buy like two foods for anybody. I mean, obviously we want garlic on you eventually, but you guys might not be that long for this world. So, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buff a... I don't think this is that bad because it, as long as you acknowledge we're mostly buying it for the 2-2 two -two buff for one turn, we're basically just getting like a, a cupcake with upside. And I know what you're going to ask, and I'm going to say, not much, what's upside with you? And we're going to win this round. Okay, so I feel like we, we puzzled that out appropriately. Now we're going to get another level. And a dolphin can fit. We'll obviously sell the unit with no equipment. Um, five gold, I would not buy an apple. I would fish for a salad. It, you know, we're, we're basically like wide scaling right now with a little ladybug kicker. The rabbit is, is a gimme if we keep running food. But I kind of feel like we're not going to keep running food, but that, that's a decision that could change the game for us, for, for worse. By the way, nice dolphin. Would be a shame if it died before it could do uh, anything at all, really. Did I say dolphin? I mean, nice kangaroo. That's how much I disrespect the kangaroo in this game. I don't even remember its name. So again, at some point, this like wide scaling strategy is going to fall apart. We're going to face like 150-50 and it's going to be over. Uh, but for now, it's kind of slapping. I'm kind of surprised by the degree of its slap. Like, and we're on a perfect run right now, which is unexpected, especially given how our early game went throughout the, the video so far. With God as my witness, I think you can add a goat. Its stats are better than the cricket, as long as you ignore the second cricket being spawned. Uh, and I think this is how we can start our pivot. So I think, why don't you take one of these for now? Why don't you take one of these for now? I know, it's very weird. But, like, we know that we're going to want to swap out most of the animals that we have right now, except for probably our ladybug and maybe our dolphin, which has been really impressing me so far. Uh, oh, my God, we won, thanks to the bee. So I'm happy that we... And this is where, like, the I think the pivot starts to make some sense. Something's got to go. Honestly, I think the peacock beats the blowfish right now for long-term potential. So I think don't even buy the blowfish. We definitely want to buy a bison. We got a very early level three. Well, pretty early level three. If we know we're pivoting later, why not buy a can? None of these animals appeal to me that much. That I would accept that probably. I would also think about maybe getting rid of a peacock and adding a rooster. But again, we need we need scaling. Like, the units that we have do things, <laughs> but we kind of need them to just be better. Like, this is, a, this is an embarrassment. That was a very strong camel. Okay. How about three snails? How about a rhino? How about sell a peacock? Buy a rhino? I mean, this is now... I'm I'm lost in the supermarket, you know? I'm starting to wonder what the goat doing. That's a gimme. I definitely... I think I would s sell the goat, maybe, to buy the skunks. It's a bit... It's all getting a bit messed up. The math just, like, could not have been better for us. And we did manage to win there. So that takes us to seven. I'm really struggling to see how we're going to take it any further, but... You know what? Our ladybug is legit... Oh, no, we can't sell the ladybug. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I think we got to sell the goat. 
and then hope that we get like some some good skunk math here. The only scaling we have is a buffalo with no caterpillar. The buffalo is level one. It's thirteen thirteen. We got a long way before that does anything for us. We kind of we had to go perfect to get to ten on this one. Like life is going to be a little hard. Remember, you can't sell the ladybug. Um, which is an issue. Am I really going to sell a dolphin to get 1-1 one, one on everybody? No, I don't think I am. Am I willing to sell a dolphin to get 1-2 on a couple of units? Yeah, I guess. Cause I, I, at this point, it's a little late on lethal to pivot from the rhino, so instead I'll just invest fully into it to ensure that we die, I suppose. Can't really make the poodle work on this team. I mean, really, you can throw caution to the wind. You you can... When all else fails, you can rely on a T-Rex to give you some hopium, even though the odds of it actually pulling us out of the, the muck here is extremely low. We deserve that. I... Are, they, I don't know what to say. We got seven wins. It's not that bad. It's just it came in, like, the first eight rounds. <laughs> So it feels bad, but we did add a team to the Hall of Fame. We had a very winning record, I think, for the most part. Thanks for watching. Happy to be back. Click the like button if you enjoyed. I know, hopefully, Expansion Pack 2 is on its way, and uh, we'll get some new content. Until then, I just love Super Auto Pets, and I'll see you next time. See ya!